Hey guys! Today I wanted to share with you some gems from my closet. A lot of people have been getting into sustainable fashion nowadays and I happen to have some really great pieces from my parents and grandparents and a few that I actually just thrifted that I wanted to share with you because as I said they are gems um, including what I'm wearing today minus uh, this necklace. This is from Solaris um, and my plugs but these earrings were my mother's. This ring was also my mother's, and this bracelet might actually be my sister's. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's start with accessories. Get those out of the way. So this was thrifted. This little, I guess technically you could just call it a coin purse or you could just call it a mini wallet. But it's in impeccable condition. Just this small little tiny mark right there. Um, that gold etching, very great condition. It was, I don't remember how much it was because I thrifted it a while ago. All these things have been in my closet for a while now. Uh, and this one. <laughs> I got this one when I was a kid. Um, this bag, I got it from some thrift shop. I don't remember which one. I, I used to use the crap out of this as a kid like you can see this little stain I had like uh I had some like paint brushes and markers and everything in this bag but yeah it's, I'm pretty sure it's just felt it feels like felt and then um the embroidered design on it but it's so pretty and this pouch this was my Nana's you know just just simple I usually use this like when I'm traveling, sometimes I just use this to put my jewelry in. I actually really enjoy tassels. I'm surprised I haven't bought tassel earrings yet. But I will. Maybe I'll find some that look just like this. What do you think? And then this is a clutch that I borrowed from my mom. This little one little card thing. What is that? You see that? Kalito beads. I think it's Kalito. Mmm. Coid out. Coid Ben. Coid bead? I don't know. Maybe. Oh god, I don't know what that says. If you can read that. <laughs> but it's so nice. Or if we do like some sort of special function dinner, she would let me use it and. This is one of those things that kind of just stayed with my stuff, so it's mine now. <laughs> um, and this, and this is also my mother's. Yeah, you know, just big old envelope clutch, one zipper pocket, and a simple clasp. But it's a little pretty embroidery. So cute. Okay, now on to all of the beautiful clothes. Actually, and another thing. This isn't a hand-me-down. It was just really cute from my childhood, and I wanted to share it with you also. It's a bag. And I stuffed the crap out of this bag, too. Yep, just, just space in there. Tag, where is this? Winfield International. Can you read that? All new materials, polyester synthetic fibers, surface washable, made in China. It's so cute. I just leave it hanging on my mirror. Okay, one of the first pieces, I'm pretty sure this is one of the first pieces that I claimed for myself. Because uh, kind of, of my parents' things, I kind of just had like old things that they don't fit or don't wear anymore. Just hanging up in the back room. And I was like, they fit me. So here's this beautiful leather jacket. I think my dad said this. I think, so I have two leather jackets for my dad. I think they're both from the 80s. One is, I think one is 70s, one is 80s, but I'm not exactly sure. They're either both from the 80s or one is from the 70s and one is from the 80s. Um, but here's this one. I actually just polished it. I could actually probably do another round because it was, it was in the best shape. Um, it's by Chess King. 
absolutely beautiful first of all genuine leather while we're on leather jackets this leather jacket I wear it all the time you see I've I wore it in front of them I wore it on my blog several times it is just absolutely gorgeous it is actually so if you look at it in person so on the camera it kind of comes up black but in person it looks brown but it actually was black it's just faded and i'm kind of scared to polish it because i like it this faded brown but i need to take care of it because i want it forever and it's my favorite one actually and it fits me just perfectly i don't know how it ever really fit my dad i do because my dad was really small he's <laughs> He's bigger now, but yeah. I have this members only jacket from him. Which I do still wear. I love this. It's like a pilot jacket. Like when you see in like in the movies that are in periods. <sighs> Cute. Okay, now this item technically is not mine i borrowed it from my dad for it was one of those uh school's colors weeks and like i just left it in my closet and he forgot about it and then he'll see me wearing it and he's like so you still have that oh yeah and he just never asked for it back so it's just in my closet you can have it when he wants it but until then it's mine it's just a beautiful beautiful sweatshirt liberty sweatshirts literally <laughs> Liberty sweaters, 100% cotton. So it's it's roomy because it's a medium, but it's just so nice. Funnily enough, in here I have two shirts. Two of the same shirt. These are by John Blair Fine Menswear. I have a navy and I have a beige. And these are from my papa. And it turns out my dad has this beige one <laughs> so one day we're just gonna go out and i'm gonna make him match me because i'm daddy's girl and i said so i mean my sister oh my god so someone's gonna match him directly and then the other one will be blue also this beautiful barracuda vest courtesy of my papa where's the blue tag where's that tag that's legible 100 percent micro suede polyester lining 100 percent acetate dry clean only made in the usa but yeah just that color uh See, I don't have a monitor, but if I did, I would have used my front camera because the quality would look nicer, but you guys are just going to have to suffer. So the next couple things are going to be for my papa as well. I have two sweatshirts. Look at this. It's so nice. Can you just see how thick it is? I know I've seen him wear this one too. It is by Lands End Direct Merchants, made in Hong Kong. I love it. I like oversized sweaters. I don't like them to be particularly tight on me. And then this is the other one. I don't know, it's just like really cute. Because I'm not really a preppy person. Like prep, like prep wear, but I don't know. This one is just nice. I like blues, and it's by Scandia, fifty-five Scandia Woods. I'm sorry, fifty-five percent cotton, forty-five percent acrylic. Reverse for care. Use them separately. Assemble that when you pop it cool. Also, I have this beautiful. I love this coat. 
this denim and plaid like oh I'm not a hunter but like if I was I'd be wearing this I wear it all the time I always wear it over top of something obviously because there's room in it it's absolutely wonderful it's so cozy it's just everything what's that what is that wear guard look at that all nice buttons is this is by wear guard tough clothes for rough work <laughs> uh, and i have seen him wear this too because my, uh, my papa on horse and i would see him wearing this when we go to the bar and i've also seen him just wear it when he runs errands but yeah absolutely just wonderful i'll try this one because it makes me feel nice so you can see like it's, it's very roomy on me, clearly a men's coat, but that's also what I like about it, that it's roomy. And the last item to show from my papa is this beautiful robe. This is made in Japan. It is by Monkey Kyoto Tokyo. My, uh, my papa was in the military, so he traveled and yeah. I don't know if that technically means he got it straight from Japan. Probably did. Could have got it somewhere else that was imported, but he did travel and it's just oh, look at that. The beautiful cranes. And the sash that matches. It doesn't have pockets. I mean it technically doesn't need pockets because it's a row, but you know. A wide short sleeve. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, that's all for my papa. I think I'm gonna show you, since we just came from Japan, I actually have a few other things that are thrifted and they are specifically made um, in Asia, in Asian countries. Um, so since I just showed you a robe from Tokyo, I'm gonna show you a few other things that I grabbed that are specifically made in Asian countries that I thrifted these. So two of them, two of them are kimonos. They're so beautiful. And then one of them, I am not sure where it was. So this, you see how beautiful this is. And on the hood. Now I got this from Buffalo Exchange. I could not leave it there. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, it's too long for me technically. Uh, well, not technically. It is too long for me. Um, but yeah, just, it's so, so beautiful. Um, if you can tell by the embroidery, the country of origin, let me know. I don't, I don't see a tag stating it. But it is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Because it's tech, you know, I have, I'm a little chesty. Oh, that, I love the hood. I don't, I don't really do too many hoods when my afro's out because every, you know, my afro's out. But it is, oh, it's definitely something I have to wear with heels because I'm not going to have it. Oh, uh, what, I'll, mm, I'll do a little something. Oh, I should have. I should have made an outfit, I'm looking in my mirror right now, I should have made an outfit post on this long ago because it's so beautiful and this is not doing justice, but you get the gist of its beauty. Oh yes, I'm adding on to my arm finally in June. I know like summer, like why would you do it in the summer, but that's, I was going to do it in July, but my artist won't be in town because uh, my birthday is in July. But yes. So beautiful. The next two, I got these from, they weren't, it wasn't Buffalo Exchange, but I was in Chicago. I got that in Chicago. I got all three of these pieces that I'm going to show you in Chicago. Uh, it's a place. <laughs> the name is escaping me. Ragstock. I got these, these two kimonos from Ragstock. And even like Ragstock and Buffalo Exchange, I don't appreciate them not putting the little plastic tag through the actual seam. 
so like up close if you're looking like you see the little hole and like on the back like you have to be like looking to notice it but like i noticed it and like i didn't appreciate that but uh yeah look at that I think I should have used a different light filter. But yeah. So beautiful. It has the little sleeves. What is it? I do. These ones did come with an extra tag saying, uh, you know, made in Japan. It's so beautiful. I actually just wore this to dinner with my friend Gina. It was so nice. Oh, I love this. I don't, I've never thought about wearing it like that. Okay, and this other one. I'm assuming this is a bridal kimono. I could be wrong because I don't know anything. But look, I don't know if you can see the detail. There you go. So beautiful. It's all white and pretty because this one's a long one, that's what I'm saying. Um, you know, the outer one, obviously I need to steam it. But uh Really, I should have. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. It's like tied together right here, which I don't know why that was done. Oh wait, no, it's done on both of it. Oh, huh. interesting. The last coat that we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a take you back to leather for a minute. Now I know this one is from the 70s because that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a 70s leather trench coat in red. And voila! This oh so beautiful. This is by Suburban Heritage Outer Shell Leather. Lining nylon tefta made in Korea. It's so beautiful. It is. It's. It's a, like a slightly oversized. Um, I did buy it when I was a little bit larger, but like it's. It's still perfectly fine. It's so beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Oh. I've been meaning to do um, like a photo inspired by. Oh, from the Matrix, Jada's character. I can't think of her name right now, but I just never got around to doing it. But uh, somebody keep reminding me because I'll keep forgetting until I actually do it. Or, well, not forgetting, just putting it off. But, oh. But there's like a little bit of noise with it. Got the little ties. You hear that? I love this. Now this, I thrifted, and it is a 90s denim long skirt with the slits on both sides. Like, you know, that we would see on Lizzie McGuire with the plaque firm sandals with the no backs. <laughs> the original trademark, Union Bay. It's so perfect with the little pockets in the front that... You know, aren't gonna fit anything. A little back pocket that will fit a smidge more. <laughs> but that's what backpacks are for. I have like a oh no, oh, mm -hmm, it's not it's not quite what you're thinking. Anyway, there's these next few sets. Uh, actually, all of the last items are my mother's, and they are impeccable. Just 
look at these linen pants or trousers I'm sorry just oof, like just picture me like actually think about um Jurassic Park 3 when they were on the beach in the beginning the dad he was all you know in his little linen by the beach shipping like obviously not the dad but think of it or like if I know somebody with like a membership to like a golf club or whatever kind of club hmm. what is that Odds and evens made in the US. Dry clean only. And it does have pockets. But uh, they're so, so beautiful. God, I'm really doing you a disservice. I'm so sorry. These next pair of pants are missing a button, of course. I can just sew a button back on, so that's no big deal. Oh, look at, like, oh, I love these wide leg. I'll show you. This is one wide leg. Full fold at the bottom. This interior. So nice. It's, like, very, it's very, like, when you see the monsters, the gangsters in the bar, in that scene in the movie. You know what I mean? So, yeah. My missing button. Casual corner. Rayon and linen. Domestic fabric over for care. What? Made in USA of domestic fabric over for care. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Dry clean only. And again, pockets. Oh, I love these. These ones are actually too big. It's actually a good thing that the button is missing because I, I can just make them smaller without actually having to take them to be tailored, although I could. And there's a back pocket. I forgot to mention that. One back pocket. Mm. One back pocket. Pretty orange button. I'll see. My mom has a tin of buttons, so I'll see if there's one in here like it. Okay, last solo trousers. And these are partially damaged. I'm so sad. But... Yes, more these like working women, but like these are boss pants. I have a photo of these actually. I'll link you guys to my lookbook because I've worn some of these. Um, actually, my lookbook is already linked down below, so you'll see anything in there that I've actually worn. I think, unless I deleted a photo because looking back, I don't like it. But I have worn these on there. I have worn my leather coat. I have worn the denim skirt. I've worn stuff. Anywho, these also, one button in the back, beautiful button, and these are made by Tomboy, mm, polyester rayon, made in Thailand, and decent pockets, and right, where'd it go? Do you see this? Right here, something bit my pant, and I'm devastated. So I'm, I don't know exactly. I'm gonna, obviously, I'm gonna go to a professional and see if they can do something for that because these are so beautiful. Or I'll just wear them like that because, like, I'm not gonna stop wearing them just because they're slightly damaged. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it's a huge deal, just not, not something that I can't wear them over. This one is a set. So I'm not going to pull this one off the hanger just because you see the pants there. I have to hem the bottoms because I walked on them and destroyed them a little bit. They're not too bad. Well, one of them is worse than the other, but it needs to be hemmed. But I love, 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 love this one. It's just, it feels really nice. By Sherry Martin, New York. Rayon acetate. What is acetate actually made from, by the way? yeah there you go beautiful dark blue color oh that's too close i think i probably should have used a different ring light color but now i'm too far into the video every time i get close to show you a detail i'm like oh maybe a different ring light color would have done better and i'm like oh i could change it now but then it's like 
I'm not gonna film this over again. I'm really not. <laughs> uh, I'll just wear these clothes in a way that you can actually see them later on because they're really nice and I'm kind of ruining it for you a little bit. I have three dresses left to show you, but I'm gonna show you um, one other thing that is my mom's that I, I have not claimed for my own because I, uh, it's just, it's not really me, but it's, it's a moment. This is by Nana Collection. Wait, too close? Because it's white. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the skirt is wonderful, though. Actually, is it a dress or a skirt? Yes, it is a skirt. These fancy big pearl buttons. Yes, church. I've never seen her wear this. It's always just been in the closet. But the skirt is gorgeous, minus the stain. Look at that. I love that. Oh, shoulder pads. Goodness me. Oh, and that light blowing it out. But I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't like sequins actually, like at all in life. I, I'm not fond of them. Like, I guess they're okay sometimes, but that's so nice. Maybe I can just remove the sequins. Although it kind of cut into the design. So no, I can't remove the sequins. I'm not going to be wearing this one because I'm not going to be a church grandma ever. <laughs> no offense. Oh, um, I say that and I mean, I'm not going to be a church grandma, but like I still might wear it. Like just for a moment. At like a theme party maybe. Since the color is already going to get blown out because of my poor lighting choices. Lighting is a bitch. I'm going to show you the other white ensemble that it's so beautiful on. It just has the nicest movement ever. Just stack. This one also has shoulder pads, but the shoulder pads are good. And then the skirt is just layered and cut in and be draped and all of that. I'm not thinking of terms right now, sorry. But it is so just nice and delicate. And my, where's my tag? Diamonds run. Designed by Wayne Diamond. Oh my gosh, the Wayne Diamond. Acetate nylon, polyester lace. Dry clean only. Made in the USA. So this dress, I absolutely love. I've always loved it as a kid. I used to just prance around the house in it because it made me feel nice. It also made me feel like kind of housewife-ish. Um, anyway, she has this dress in pink as well. The pink one is a little bit smaller, but I like this one more. I don't really like the pink one. It's by Johnny Blair, made in Bangladesh. I like, oh, oh my God. Like, can you see that, that detailing? The, oh. And this little tie for a bow on the back. Oh, but like it's perfect for a tea party. I don't, it's just so perfect. This one I do, I have to get taken in. Because I love this way more. But, uh. Now I have my mirror right here. Oh, God. I just keep thinking about how poorly I'm doing this video for you guys. But I'm not going to stop because I've already started but I'm in the mirror looking at the wolf, at the spin, and it's absolutely wonderful. I should have just angled you lower this whole time. I should be doing what? <laughs> Let me change the lighting at the end and see. And the last one. 
Oh, this gorgeous color. And like you can see it's fading a little bit by where that pink, that discoloration, but it's so beautiful. And I used to, like, I used to want to wear it backwards, like, like, oh, oh, oh what the, oh, but like it has the zipper right here. So like you can tell it's the back, but I think it looks really good like this way. Oh, it's just beautiful. But yeah, oh, definitely should change. It's very, very grainy, I think. In my opinion, it's very grainy here. But yeah, because uh, it's looking a little pinker there and it's a purple. But uh, it's so beautiful. Let's see. No, that one's just... Now you look blue. You still look blue. Actually, I think you look blue anyway. Still look blue. Is this one I was using? I don't even remember which light I had on anymore. I had the white light on. Yeah. Or was it this white light? I think it was this one. I might have booted it up some. Okay. I don't know which one looks clear. Whatever. I think it was. I'm annoyed I forgot to show you this. Probably should have just laid everything on the floor, huh? This carpet's getting torn up, don't worry about it. So beautiful, so 90s. I'm gonna cut this off and use it for something else. I don't know when I'll get around to showing you. All right, guys, so those are my gems. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you have a favorite one. Let me know if you know where that one piece was made. You know, if you just like, I actually, I will just go ahead. When I am motivated to, I will just do an actual lookbook. Like a, like a date night lookbook with the dresses and like some of the other, mm. Okay, anyways, see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.